Hi everyone, it's Miss McKenzie here at Burnley Moran. I wanted to make a quick video today talking about some of the spring plants that we're seeing come up in our garden. Now a lot of these plants are called weeds because they kind of grow up and take over, but I like to call a weed a plant that's just growing where you don't want it to because a lot of these plants are actually really cool and really beneficial. So let's take a look at some of the weeds that are growing out in our Burnley Moran garden. So perhaps the most common one that you may see are, of course, dandelions. So there's different parts of the dandelion. There are the leaves that look like this. And then of course these beautiful bright yellow flowers that look like this. The leaves of the dandelion are edible and really nutritious and so are the flowers. You can eat the flowers of a dandelion. I will say though you have to be really careful where you eat it because you don't want to eat a dandelion growing on a sidewalk because it could have some gross things on it. But if you find a dandelion growing in a wild space where there's no buildings and not a lot of foot traffic. Give it a taste. You make a wish and blow out the dandelion seeds and that's why they're everywhere because these float in the wind. Another one you might see is this beautiful yellow flower and this is called buttercup. Now buttercup has a long stem, the flower does, but it grows out of this really cool leaf. So you might see some of those. And that's growing in between our mint right here. Now one of my favorites are this one right here, and this is called dead nettle. So these plants have a square stem and I believe that's because they're in the mint family. But you can tell their leaves are pretty distinct and you know it's dead nettle by the beautiful purple top with those cool little flowers. Look at that. So this plant right here is called plantain and it has these lines that run vertically up the leaves and it kind of grows in a bunch outwards like this but this plant's really cool it's known as the band-aid plant because if you take a leaf and you crunch it up and break it apart you if you're bleeding somewhere if you got a cut or a scrape you can just press it against your skin to help stop the bleeding it also can be used to help a bug bite or a, bee sting that you got by rubbing the plant where the bug got you. All right, this one is one of my favorite, wild violets. So they have these really cool leaves that look like that. It's amazing purple flowers. There are also white violets that you may see pop up that are like a whitish, bluish purple. But these ones are the purple and they're just beautiful. All right, so this is the bitter crust plant. So the bottom has these smaller leaves and then it shoot, sends, shoots up with tall stalks and these little flowers. Now what I really think is cool about this plant is its seeds shoot out like a rocket when you touch it. So we can get a look at this. I'm gonna flick it and let's see if we can see some of the seeds flying off. Let's try that again. That is Pennsylvania Bittercrest. All right, and the last one that I wanna show you is called Speedwell. And these make the most beautiful little blue flowers that we can see right here and it kind of grows like a ground cover. So it really makes this beautiful patch of flowers and green leaves. 
Thanks so much for joining me on a wild plant walk in our Burnley Moran garden and I hope that you're able to spot some of these if you're out on a walk in your neighborhood or walking on a sidewalk maybe you'll see something growing through the cracks. Bye!